Welcome back to Mega Man 11. It's time for Spring Band 2.0. Wow, that's a fabulous looking boss enemy. Very pink. Very bouncy. Very round. He, he's, he also looks combo. like he should be weak to bees. Ooh, he's well, the exact. Amiibo functionality? Yep, I have the Amiibo. Do you, have, do you have the new one or just the old Smash Brothers one? Both. Or do, you, do you have the golden one from Mega Man Legacy Collection? Nope, I have the regular one from Smash. Okay, this is a level that I know I'm going to like because I've, I always like bouncy levels. <laughs> uh, Why do you say that? The bouncy, no, bouncy, the, bouncy, the, bouncy, the, bouncy, bouncy, fun, 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 fun. The problem with the bouncing is that you have to hold the button well before you hit them to actually get a full bounce. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's Metropolis Zone case. bumpers. It's very finicky. Of all the levels I've heard people talk about, I've always... The most, like, um, pushback I always hear about is always Bounce Man, just because there are some rooms in this level that are, like, really hard to navigate. Yeah. Especially if you don't, don't go in with, like, Acid Barrier or something. I don't necessarily mind what you d just described as, as far as the bounce control goes because I, I can usually acclimate to that kind of thing quickly. It's like when I'm expecting good physics and get really, really stiff ones, as in Sonic Force case, that, it, that bouncing stuff bugs me. But, you know, this is Mega Man. I expect the physics to be stiff. <laughs> my, my problem stiff only comes into when I'm trying to nag uh, to nab uh, goodies. Like, so much for navigation, I didn't really have too much of a problem with it. You will when you do Dr. Light's trial. I like how Mega Man, you know, ladder climbs with his feet even when his feet are below the ladder. That's great A attention to detail, Capcom. Also, if you need something to cancel your momentum, you can use Impact Man's weapon as a dash. Yeah, yeah that, that I saw that a lot of cool speedrun stuff on for that on Twitter as well. So that seems uh, useful. On the other end, I hate these balloon enemies. What? <laughs> Because your buster does nothing to the balloons and most special weapons besides Impact Man don't. So, yes, I bet the game doesn't really make it clear you can do that, though, because your lemons and have a charge, I just plink right off. Well, well what else would you, well, hold on, what else would you do if your <laughs> I was going to say, there's one just, room where they literally are going to block your path. You yeah, and I had, to, I, had to fig I had to figure out there. Well, yeah, you know, that's how you learn. Except that's like almost entirely through the stage. If you're not, if you don't figure that's that out. That's how Mega Man always teaches you. No, because you can set it up better, like, say, Galaxy Man in Mega Man 9. You have the one guy plop down and drag you down before it's, you know, dangerous. Here, yeah. okay, my shots are bouncing off. Okay, my charge shot probably can't do it. My buster isn't doing anything. So I have to shoot the enemy and the balloons become obstacles. Okay. Or Impact Man does something. Okay, because I guess that's the weakness to balloons. It pops the balloons. Oh, late, the charge... The, hi, the, Derek. Yeah, the, the charge bus Oh, the charge buster does something? Well... That wasn't very clear because my regular shots just bounce right you off. You only have so many yeah. options, though. Is the that's thing. gonna say your regular shots don't do anything, but a charge shot would do something. Except the charge shot doesn't inherently do anything more than a regular shot. The charge shot is more powerful. What? Exactly. Yeah, but it doesn't affect things differently for the most part. But it's a more powerful shot. Eventually, yeah. there's a room he, you're coming up to where you have, uh, literally have to bounce up, and then you have to bounce down, and the balloon enemy is directly in the middle of the pathway. And that's when I knew, okay, these balloons have to be destroyed because there's no way I'm not taking contact damage if yeah, I don't do that, something. That's how I figured out. That's how I figured it out. Eventually, you can design the game better so they're not necessarily obstacles. The first start. What I would have done is say a lemon pops one balloon. So it takes five or six shots to take yeah. the balloon the enemies down that way. Well, considering yeah. that, from what I've seen, you can stand pretty close to them and fire those shots rapid. It wouldn't make it that much of an obstacle, though. And it wouldn't be yeah. worth it to charge it up to max as opposed to just pew, 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 pew. And just I think, I, I think what, what, what would probably, like, what, what is the visual feedback when you hit the balloons with each charge shot? It just goes right through them. Right. It doesn't, it doesn't have a visual effect that, that lets you know the balloons are being damaged. No, uh -huh. they, they just that. they just they, they just get destroyed. Uh, is it, oh, with one shot. Yeah, yeah. Mm. like right the here. Explosion. Yeah. yeah, right there. But oh, your there your go. normal buster just plinks right off. There's no There's sign. A that's, charge shot. Why would I? I, I don't why know. would I think, I think a charge? The, the charge shot never destroys anything. A does it? Okay. Oh, oh you char saying a char that the, a charge, the charge shot, shot usually doesn't destroy things that the. That the, the normal shot wouldn't be well, able to damage. Mega Man, well, yeah, Mega Man doesn't saying. usually have destructible in-game objects anyway, so... Yeah, that's... Yeah. that. Well, you know, I, I sort of get what Orion's saying. It's like, um, if we're to be expected to destroy 
one thing with a charge shot that the that the regular shots wouldn't be able to damage. You'd ex you would expect other things to be destructible in a similar manner. You I'll say this know. about Mega Man 11. Um, Metools, Sniper Joes, usually in the previous 10 games, if you do a charge shot, their helmet, just... their shield would just deflect the shot and it wouldn't be a yeah. big deal. In Mega yeah. Man 11, however, though, if you charge shot a Metool, he actually like jumps up and then you can shoot him and like, yeah, take and, him out. This shield and, guy right here, yeah, you can actually that's... charge shot his shield away. Yeah, and that's a change because I've, you know, I've played the games for so long. You know, if, it, if a charge shot, you know, if it, I'm, ass, I'm assuming that at this point, as a fan of the series, okay, if a lemon does nothing, a charge shot won't do anything. Yeah, that's. I would, I would agree hmm. if it was a Metool or a Sniper Joe, but it's these just, are a brand new enemy. Though. It's just, except you I'm, can't assume, you can't assume that it runs off the same logic. Yeah, I can't because it's the same series. You have I mean, to either I don't make sure. Me for, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't necessarily blame you because again, yeah, I'd imagine the the big crux is that you are a long time Mega Man fan. You were expected to work one way or the other. But me personally, as both a, a player of the games and a player of this game, I've seen plenty of times where the charge shot does something to enemies in some way or fashion. Uh, whether it just outright obliterates them or it leaves them wide open. So, uh, to me, I didn't think using a charge shot was that big of a leap in logic. Not uh. to mention there does have to be a way to kill those things, even if this is your first stage. So, yeah. Well, again, that's how I figured it out. Cause it's like, okay, you can't expect me to have the weapon here. And isn't here's, the, here's, here, here, here's the other crux. There is a rapid fire mode in this game where you're not charging, but if you hold the button, you fire lots and lots of pellets. Oops. <laughs> oh, wait. How do you switch between that and that? It's in the it's in the options. Oh, huh. can you charge? Can you do a charge shot? With is it on by default or do not you without an up? Not without the uh, proper chip upgrade. Yeah. So I had there is a chip I upgrade that lets that automatically charges your weapon with that. Yeah, I had I have friends who, you know, they don't really like playing with the charge buster. They like rapid fire more. Okay, now they're kind of screwed in this stage. <laughs> Can I you feel like it I, on the I, fly? I, yes, I think so. The, the thing is, it's not a bad enemy. I think that the problem is it didn't explain that a charge shot particularly does anything more than a regular shot does, and you're kind of screwing with longtime fans at that point. You know, again, this is the le this is the screen I'm talking about. He had to yeah. like go down where the balloons guy was, and yeah. he's he's so wide that you definitely would run into him. So you know to like shoot him from the left. Yeah. You know, I kind of think, yeah, I I see where Ryan's coming from. If only because Mega Man, because of its structure, has always had a bit of a, a bit of a problem establishing a natural learning curve for things. Yeah, because you can um, choose the hardest stage first just yeah, by complete can, accident because you don't yeah, know you what's can, in what. <laughs> that's a problem yeah, with can, every game. You can very easily game. choose the stage first, and again, if you're a longtime player like me, you can very easily assume, oh. You know, my even chart before even before bringing in the long long time player elements, uh, I think uh, it, there isn't really a way for the game to naturally establish that you're supposed to use the charge but, shot to destroy things. That yeah. But my counter, but, okay. But my counter argument for that, if you're use, if say Bounce Man is your first choice. What other option do you possibly have if your lemon shots don't work? When you get to that one, none. Yeah. But you but, need to accept, you need to do a better job establishing that you can do that at all. Well, what other well, does, option do you have? I, I feel thing. like the minute you shoot the little guy and then the balloons float up and then you get, take contact damage from it, that's a hazard. You should be able to kill it. So I'd, I'd experiment the, and use a charge shot. The um, uh, I'm not saying that it's necessarily indefensible. I'm just saying it's a, it's a bit awkward. It is is what it sounds like. Like there's there. It's not any different to me than, say, in Mega Man... I'm going to reference Mega Man 2, because that's the one I've... The only... Actually, I've only beaten one and two. Not okay, we got to play uh, one, so... It's just uh, like, you see the, the walls that are bro broken by Crash Man's weapon, right? It's like, okay, what am I supposed... You could easily get... Theoretically, get stuck there, be thinking, how am I supposed to break that? Is and but, those are, but those are only for... In the main stages, those are only for goodies. Yeah, but you don't... Yeah, you often um, don't know that, because there's some passageways, like in... Flashman's stage, for instance, there's a hole 
pathway down there, and if I'm a six-year-old playing that game, I might what I'm, sit there uh, trying every other weapon I've got, thinking, okay, can I break it with this? No. This, what what no, I'm more trying not. to what I'm more trying to get at is that uh, in a norm normally in a in a more linear kind of game, uh, what you would get is um, a natural introduction and then progression of a mechanic. But Mega Man kind of always has that that curve as a stage specific thing. So it can't really rely on any given stage to establish things for the other stages. Every yeah, stage. Because if I'm to... not aware that the charge buster interacts with things differently than the lemon shots, how is how am I inherently supposed to know that I can do that? I guess right. I guess thing. what, what I have to, I, I have well, to ask. I, one thing, just real quickly, I have to ask. Uh, to go back to what Ryan was bringing up with the rapid shot, do power gear pellets affect it? No. Not to, not to you, my knowledge. Not to your... So, so you don't know. Well, the power gear pellets just <laughs> shoot out charge shots, don't they? No. I thought... No, the power... The power the, po the lemon shots are affected by power gear. Yeah, but I thought that when you shot something... No, you, can, you, have, you, have to, you have to charge up in, in power yeah. mode. Yeah, you shoot two sh two pellets at a time in power gear, but that's it. Yeah, but are those pellets affected by power gear? Are they stronger pellets? Because I think if that's still the case. Yeah. Why don't you oh, no, load no, up but, the game uh, and my, check? My question is whether or not the lemons themselves in power gear are stronger than normal lemon shots. Power wise, yes. As far as interacting with objects, I don't think so. Hmm, because that would that would circumvent the rapid shot problem because you yes. always have power honestly, you can't turn honestly off. though I think it's just as simple as okay I've got a stronger shot that I can use why don't I just try it you know because yeah, the charge yeah. shot well, by well, default this, this, is this, this, stronger this, this, this. My, my, my point my point is that um, because the game has to split itself up into these nine difficulty into these nine separate learning curves that all have to be more or less self-contained the game can't use its entire length to establish a teaching routine for its mechanics that plays from level to level and gets progressively more uh, involved. So yeah, you, you it doesn't need, you have a, a whole lot of time to establish that you can use a specific thing to affect certain other things. Yeah, you need and to figure that, out a way to tell you in the game that it, a charge shot affects things differently than a regular shot. It's because... because um, if uh, if you had several levels in a row that gradually established that you can use the charge shot to affect things that way, then you could throw a challenge into someone's path and they would instinctively think of the charge shot rather than having to stop and say, okay, it's time that I just throw everything at this and see what sticks. Um, if that makes sense. Well, what are you doing back there? Did I say nine? I meant eight. I forgot yeah. that the middle space was Mega Man's face. <laughs> uh, I'm fighting Mega Man. Wait, what? <laughs> Snooping as usual, eh, Roll? <laughs> What's a pingus, Dr. Light? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I'm, al I'm also not showing the uh, meanest part of this game. Ta-da! 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> when you go into the shop and you buy something from roll screen, she'll go, ta-da! And then yeah. when, you, when, you, when you just want to, you know, max out on E-Tanks for life, she'll just go, ta-da, ta-da, There's no ta way to so, buy things in bulk. You have to buy one E-Tank at a time, so oh, it's that's like... Annoying. <laughs> so you buy yeah. one, ta-da! Also, why is Mega Man's name Mega and not Rock? Yeah. Because every time opening the shop, I swear to Christ, autos call me a racial slur. <laughs> <laughs> it's just look, Mega Man 4 called him Rock, and if Mega Man 4 called him Rock, the rest of the series should call him Rock. <laughs> yeah. And Powered Up did this too. Powered Up also called him Mega before he was Mega Man. Mega Man, Mega's not a name. <laughs> no, well, it's Rock, really. It Maybe at an end, it's Megan, but. It's such good synchronization. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. That's the pun. <laughs> Yeah, no, we can't have music puns. Story Rock wise, can still be Mega Man. He doesn't have to be Rock Man. Story wise, Wiley never forgave me. Well, I can see why. You kind of shut his idea down without even talking about it. <laughs> so much Was I in the wrong here? Yes. No. It is the Wiley that is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Am I out of touch? <laughs> 
Let's make a mo robot with complete free will that can't be pro uh, limited by any program ever. Oh wow, this is so dangerous that I need to lock it away for 30 years. Wow. Maybe that, maybe Wiley that was right. That drumstick has been in the microwave for the last six hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that drumstick? No, that's the fewer source. <laughs> I do like the touch of uh, Auto and Roll hiding in the background there. And I don't know why they're actively hiding, because uh, there's a point where light turns around and they, like, zip out of there. I was like, yeah. what, why? Are you not allowed to eavesdrop? <laughs> What's going on? Maybe they know they're supposed to be working. They know Maybe. Dr. <laughs> oh, lazy shits. <laughs> more, more like they know Dr. Light's a complete asshole and he's going to cause tons of problems in the future despite doing his usual shit. <laughs> Why yeah, does the, the, we need why the does... E Hollywood true story about Doctor Light? What's he really like? <laughs> I okay. mean, he, he effectively causes every problem in this universe. <laughs> okay, here's my question: Why does Doctor Light have to keep on reprogramming Rush yet into Rush? I mean, granted, the why doesn't Mega Man keep the old powers thing? That's you know that's video game logic, like whatever. But Rush Jet has been upgraded to appear in this stupid dog, like what eight uh, times now? Yeah, like. Why can't yeah, you? And why I, I gotta say, Rush Vista wasn't a good time for everybody. How much <laughs> space does that does that program take up? That Doctor Light needs to keep on deleting it to fit his porn on him or whatever. You know, like why, why? 